guys welcome to this video of time and work this video is really special because in this video i'm going to teach you a few important shortcuts that you can use in order to get your answer within seconds guys you're going to love me for this video but i have deliberately not shared these shortcuts before while explaining the concepts because i genuinely wanted you all to understand the concepts first and then use the shortcuts so guys you need to memorize few formulas in order to apply these shortcuts and to get the answers within seconds so please be thorough with the concepts if you haven't seen my previous videos i would suggest you all to go through them practice the questions based on the concept based on the traditional method and then by heart these formulas and use the shortcuts because it is very important to know the concepts if at all you miss up with the mess up with the shortcut or if you forget the formula then you have to use the traditional method only to you to solve that particular question so it is important that you know how to work on the traditional methods as well but this video is about shortcuts so let's get started with the shortcuts now guys this is the first formula and i have already taught you this formula in the previous previous videos by explaining the concept but i am once again going to repeat because this is also one of the shortcuts so if at all you have p1 person who can do w1 work by working for t1 time and you have p2 person who can do w2 work by working for t2 time then the relationship is given by this formula so here you have to remember that the time taken is directly proportional to the work done more the time more the time a person is working he is going to complete more work similarly the number of people who are working is also directly proportional to the work done what does this mean if at all i increase the number of people then my work done is also going to increase so basically what it means is that time and number of people they are directly proportional to the amount of work done so we have this formula now let's see a question so that you will get more clarity here we have 25 people who can complete a work in 8 hours by uh, who can, who can work for 8 hours in 15 days and they can complete a work in how many days 48 men working for 6 hours a day will make three times longer road so there is a road which needs to be made and we have in the first case we have 24 people and they are working for 8 hours for 15 days so my t1 is 8 into 15 and in the second case we have 48 men and they are working for 6 hours and we don't know the number of days that is what we have to find out also they have to make a road which is 3 times long than the previous road so my if my w1 is x or is 1 then my w2 is 3 all i do is i substitute all these values in this formula to get the answer so p1 into t1 24 into 8 into 15 upon 48 which is p2 into 6 into x equal to w1 upon 3 w1 because my w2 is 3 w1 so here w1 w1 gets cancelled this comes out to be 2 so my x comes out to be 30 when i simplify this and solve it my x comes out to be 30 so the correct answer is none of these now let us see the second shortcut if a can do a work in x days and b can do it in y days then together they can do it in x into y upon x plus y so all we have here is we are given that what is the time taken by individuals a and b to do the work 
all we have to do is we have to multiply it and then we have to divide by the summation of the total number of days so we have here a can complete the work in 10 days so we have a who can complete the work in 10 days we have b who can do it in 15 days and we are given that if a and b work together what is the time that they will take so we have 10 into 15 upon 10 plus 15 so when a and b are working together a plus b they are working together so we have 150 upon 25 which comes out to be 6 so the correct answer is 6 days if at all guys i solve this by the traditional method then it is going to take much longer time but here i have solved it within seconds so please do by heart these formulas but also keep in mind that you should know the traditional method as well now let us see another one a and b can do a work in x days and b alone can do it in y days then a alone can complete the work in x y upon y minus x so in this case we are given that what is the time taken by a and b to do a particular job together here we have the value of a plus b so all we need to do is we need to multiply um, the time taken by one individual into the time taken by both of them together and we have to divide that by the difference between the two times in order to get what is the time taken by an individual to do a particular work so here we have a and b can do a work in 20 days so we have a plus b equal to 20 b alone can do it in 30 days now we have to find out what is the time taken by a so all we need to do is the time taken by a is equal to we substitute these values in the formula upon 30 minus 20 this comes out to be the denominator comes out to be 10 and here it comes out to be 600 so we have 60 so the correct answer is 60 days a takes 60 days now let us see the next shortcut if a can do a work in x days b in y days and c in z days then together they can complete the work in it is given by this formula so here also we have to do the same things here we have to consider instead of two people here we are given three people a b and c and the concept remains the same if at all all three of them are working together then the uh, time taken will be given by the sub product of the times of the individuals divided by the sum of the multiplication of the two times so here we have a is taking 10 days, B is taking 12 days and C is taking 15 days. So A plus B plus C equal to all we have to do is we have to multiply this divided by 10 into 12 plus 12 into 15 plus 10 into 15. So here if we simplify we get the answer we can take out 10 common I think yes we can so I have 10 common I have 12 plus So the correct answer here is 4 days. If we simplify, we get the correct answer which is 4 days. So here also we have solved it within seconds. Otherwise, in the traditional method would have taken us few minutes to solve it. Now let us see the next concept. Here we have A and B can do a work in X days. So we have A plus B. They can do it in X days. Then we have B and C can do it in Y days. And we have A and C who can do it in Z days. So this question actually requires solving of simultaneous equations. And if at all you have seen my last previous video of simultaneous equations, you know how tedious the calculation can get. So this is a shortcut. If you have a question which is related to this, then please do use this shortcut because you are going to get the answer really fast. Now we have to find out what is the time taken by a b and c to do the job together 
so here in this question we have a and b they are taking 20 days we have b and c who are taking 30 days and we have a and c who are taking 40 days so all we need to do is we have to substitute these values in this equation so this equation again is very simple and you need to learn this formula 2 into 40 2 into 20 into 30 into 40 upon so i have 600 plus i am directly multiplying i am multiplying these two that comes out to be 1200 plus now i am multiplying 20 into 40 that comes out to be 800 so the total value is nothing but 2 into 20 into 30 into 40 divided by 600 800 plus 1200 equal to 2000 and this comes out to be 2600 so my zeros get cancelled so my final answer is nothing but 2 into 3 which is 6 6 into 4 is 24 into 10 240 upon 30 so my correct answer is this we have got this answer into fraction but you don't have to confuse yourself thinking that this probably is the wrong answer. No, even if you get a, get the answer in fractions, it is still the right answer. Because simultaneous equations, it is quite possible that you get the answer in fractions. So A and B, A, C, B and C together, they can complete the work in 240 upon 13 days, which is, which is the answer. So now let us see the next shot. Now till now we had seen the shortcuts which were related with the time taken. Now we will see something which is related with the wages. So here if A can do the work in X days and B can do it in Y days, then the ratio of their wages is 1 upon X is to 1 upon Y. So this is again very simple to understand and we have actually indirectly used this concept in our wages but this is pretty direct. And I will uh, explain it to you with an example. So we have A who is taking 20 days. We have B who is taking 25 days. And we have C who is taking 30 days. And together they are getting 3700 as wage. So now we have to find out what is an individual wage of A, B and C. So now the ratio of their wages is 1 upon 20 is to 1 upon 25 is to 1 upon 30. So the LCM here is 300. So now I get this comes out as 15 upon 300. This comes out as 12 upon this comes out. 10 upon 300. So my ratio is the numerator which is 15 is to 12 is to 10. So this is the ratio of the wages of A, B and C. So this is ratio of the wages A is to B is to C. Now all I do is I divide 3700 by the sum of these 15 plus 12 plus 10 which comes out to be 37. So, one unit here is equal to 100. Now, I have to multiply 100 with 15, 100 with 12 and 100 with 10 in order to get the individual wages. So, my A is nothing but 1500 because I multiplied by 100. B is 1200 and C is 1000. So, here you can see that I have got the answer within few seconds. So, this is about wages. So, guys, I have covered all the major shortcuts that I thought are really important. You need to memorize one or two formulas and then you have to solve the questions so that you get a bit of practice and then you can automatically remember it during the exam time. Also, again, I am repeating, please be thorough with the concept as well because if at all you forget a formula, then the concept always comes handy. So, guys, this is it for now. 
we have completed all the videos of time and work and this is the seventh video in the series please have a look at all the six videos solve questions practice this these problems because time and work problems are bound to come in any exam so i wish you all the best stay tuned for our next videos thank you